Max Hunt is no stranger to us here on the Field Sports Channel, and his latest globe-trotting adventures are all about experiencing the best hunting and fishing around the world. With his partner Rags and his faithful Pooch in tow, Max has just arrived in the middle of the night at the sleepy village of Haversen to experience what guide fishing in Norway has to offer. Well, that's if he can find anybody. Finally, we made it up to the very north of Norway. It's pretty late at night here, and we found a spot where we're supposed to meet with the guys. But as you can see here, there's nothing going on here. Nothing at all. Oh well, it's late. Maybe we'll have better luck in the morning after a good night's sleep. I haven't been sleeping at all, for several reasons. One of them, the sea eagles calling all night. The second one is, the sun is up all night. But last but not least, I am so nervous. I am, I've been waiting for this moment actually quite long. For me, it has been a childhood dream to get to the north of Norway, catching big fish in the open sea. And I'm so excited, but before that, I think we'll have a real breakfast with Brian in here. Brian is our skipper for the day, and it appears that not only does he know where the fish lurk, but also several thousand calories. So, Reggie, what's the plan? We are going to fish. We are so up north in Norway that you can almost come and it smells fish everywhere and we're going to fish. The excitement cannot be contained any longer, so it's time to get this party started. Mermaid, get on board! That's our sexy mermaid. <laughs> Today, Max is setting out with Norway Guide Fishing, who have six boats available to hire, fully loaded with all the best gear that you could ever wish for. But what can the visiting fishermen expect? First of all, they can expect a lot of fish, even for Norway. This area is exceptional, uh, rich of fish. I've been fishing uh, several places uh, from here to, to, to the south, and uh, I must say this, this area is uh, very, very special, a lot of fish. So there's a lot of fish in the area. Anything else? And besides that, you have uh, different species. You have uh, redfish, uh, sea wolf, big cod, and a lot of people come from, uh, for halibut. This area is especially famous for halibut. Is that it? Furthermore, we nearly always can go fishing, even when it's windy. Okay, so you may have us beat here in Britain on that one. And if that's not enough reasons to convince you, then listen to this. This winter in March, we were fishing for Sky, the name of uh, the, the cod who is coming from the Barents Sea, come in here, close to the shore. That morning, the, the morning we got 10, 10 past 30 kilos, big, big fish, and uh, I got one of 35 kilos, and uh, one and a half meter. It was my record, and I no, not never beat that. It was a fantastic day. So there's some monster trophy fish to be had as well. With that long list of credentials, we should definitely see some sport, and they may even bag a fish of a lifetime. It's not long before Lady Luck hooks into the first fish of the day. Yeah, so then, so they walk, come to the top. Yeah, come. Yeah, that is so, come. First one? I have fish. Oh, Jesus. Using this big uh, rubber fish, it's the shads here from uh, Savage Gear and Cut Bait here in one of the most popular baits in uh, Norway. Jeez. Fishing for a maximum one minute, catching the first fish. And they're strong, they're pretty strong. And we're using a lot of catch and release, so we're putting them out together. Everybody can catch the cut there. This is better than any golden goddess workout, as she winches in her second fish. Ah! <laughs> heavy! Well, it may not be that particular fish of a lifetime, but what it's lacking in weight, it certainly is being made up for in volume, as no sooner as the fish has been released, Rag's rod is handed back to her with another fish already on it. <laughs> right now we're getting the pulse up to around 180, and then we just keep on pushing. It's not surprising really when you take a look at what's happening down below. Fishing 
for an hour here and Brian kept on saying this is the spot this is the spot and I was almost giving up but something is down here I think it's a Russian submarine actually it's a halibut that's a hell of a halibut now this is my first Norwegian fish ever and it's too small to take home so we better release there he goes going it big my first halibut ever boom and the fish just keep coming and coming oh, it's heavy the Norwegian waters are living up to their reputation, although there might be some debate over the size. Okay, we just met two very happy Swedish guys, so I could uh, take my Swedish language and talk to them, and they uh, took this fish story about this huge fish, and they took it up, and they said, oh, it's like 20 kilos, but it was 12, I think, says Bria. I think I was around 12 maximum. maximum. And they were like, yeah, no, 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 it's 19 or 20. We promise it's like a fat fish, okay? And then they show it to us and they went, whoa, it's just fish stories. It's, it's lovely. With time moving on and daylight rapidly staying the same, it's time to head back to shore. The next morning, it's back out onto the water for some more species and perhaps that monster fish. I got my catfish. These guys actually know what they're doing. I ask for coat, I get coat. Then I ask for tusk, I get tusk. Then I ask for catfish, and look what's coming up. This is heaven on earth for fishermen. Crazy. My first catfish ever. One of the reasons I dreamt about getting a fish like this is I want to put my teeth in it, tasting it. Everybody tells me it's some of the best fish you can get. And we will try that out later tonight. It's not really a monster fish, more a fishy monster. To Max, it's a catfish, but to us, it's a wolf fish. And as another comes to the boat, it seems that those fried breakfasts may have finally caught up with rags. Well, that's one way of chumming the water. It's certainly not disturbing the fishing, and as more fish come to the boat, Max has decided to change to a dead bait in hope of catching something a little different. Actually, we've used a cold fish as a baiting fish right now, about 40 centimeters, and we hooked him up and we put him out. And now, there's something going on here. Somebody swallowed my cold fish. Oh. That's the first time ever I get disappointed by a coat of 10 kilos. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I, I suspect that a halibut. But a coat, 10 kilo, it's pretty normal out here. Oh well, there's still tomorrow. And as the sun goes nowhere, it's time to fire up the grill and enjoy the other side of fishing the deep blue. It's the final day, and it looks like everyone is back on fall. Another lovely day on the sea. We're going to try and catch some fishes today as well, and I'm going to try and not get seasick, because yesterday was awful. I was laying here, and I was like ready to jump in the sea. And I hate when, when the other guys are like, oh, you want to eat the mackerel sandwich? No! I don't want to eat that. We're going to catch some of we are out here on the Norway sea, try to catch some halibut and we will catch some uh, cold fish first for bait. So uh, we go down now. However, it seems like the bait fish are not too keen to live up to their title. Try to catch some small bait, cold fish, but it's a big problem. We only catch big fish, like this one. 
another big one. We only want the small ones. I bet you've never heard a fisherman say that before. So, take him out again. Finally, we got some more nice cold fish for bait. Perfectly for halibut. With enough bait fish, it's time to find those elusive, big, beautiful brown slabs of halibut. Halibut, around 70 kilo, are common here, but the largest rod caught one in the area has weighed in at 165 kilos, and they can get even bigger. First halibut of the day, uh, we just lost one two minutes before, and now we got this one up. We got a little bit tangled together, so we did got it on video. Uh, 77 centimeters. We've been fishing in about an hour. Perfect weather, perfect conditions. Now we're uh, heading for the next one. We release this one here. It appears we may be in the right area as Max's line suddenly takes off with something Hello, big. Max. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty busy, sorry. I think, I think, uh, I hope. We got the halibut we were whoa, looking for. We're fishing with a bait fish on about 40 centimeters in a depth of 40 meters. And suddenly, bam! Actually, it is the fish deciding where we're going right now, and Brian is trying to follow it with the boat. Brian is over here. Yeah. Hi, Brian. Smiling. <laughs> yeah. So, right now it's teamwork. That's what you need to get a big fish. Quite close to the hot spot. Here. Yes. This is fishing! No, wrong way! <laughs> That's a halibut bend. Max, you're doing pretty good. That will be the fish of your life. I promise you. It will. Right. <laughs> Fighting for 15 minutes, and after 15 minutes, bam, fish gone. That's fishing. Of course, we always tell the fish we lose are the biggest fish we ever had on the hook. But this one, I think everybody on board agrees on, that was a hell of a fish. Fighting 15 minutes, big runs, running out 20, 30, 50 meters sometimes, fighting it. That's how it goes. That's part of the game. It most certainly is, and with lots of untouched fishing ground still to explore, there's always next time. If you've been inspired to fish the Norwegian Sea around Havasund, then check out www.norwayguidefishing.dk. If you would like to follow Max Hunt around his globetrotting adventures, then check out his YouTube channel, The Max Hunt.